Did you know that more than 120 questions in NEET are based purely out of PYQs? Yes, you heard that right. PYQs aren't just practice. They are literally the cornerstone of your preparation. When I first started preparing, I didn't realize this. I wasted months doing random MCQs until I understood NEET PG repeats concepts, not just questions. And once you master PYQs, you start predicting the paper even before it comes out. Everyone asks me, Sir, how do I start solving PYQs? Simple. Start small. Begin with 30 PYQs a day. But don't just mark the right answer. Read the explanations properly. Understand why the other three options are wrong. Then slowly build the pace. From 30 to 50 to 100 to 200 to 400 and then finally 500 PYQs a day. Around a couple of months before the exam. Which apps should you use to solve PYQs? Maro is the gold standard. Now, although personally, I don't prefer much of the video content from Maro, as I feel it is too complex and too vast for Neat PG. However, the way they present the MCQs are just world class. You'll find many of the future Neat questions under the MCQs explanation in Maro. Also, don't just blindly solve the entire Maro Q bank. It's pointless. Solve custom modules using hashtag recent neat and hashtag aims. The explanation under these MCQs can't be missed. Now, if you're just starting your prep, there's another app called Reflex by Dr. Aditya Sanjay Gupta. It has short and crisp explanations for each of the PYQs. If I were you and I was in my initial stages of my prep, I would solve MCQs from this during free time, during rounds in which you're not required, during small lunch breaks. This will help you get an idea of what type of questions come in need. Also, these help you solve your MCQs faster by increasing your time for revision. You can also use this if you're in your final stages of your prep and you've solved PYQs multiple times and you're using this to refresh your memory of PYQs as a reflex and you are in your final stages of your prep where you are solving 500 PYQs a day. A short story, I had personally used this app during my prep and it wasn't great to be honest. It had a lot of mistakes and uh, the user interface wasn't very good. But now I have recently reviewed the app and almost 99% of the mistakes are gone and it's very short and very easy to read. They also have grant tests based out of PYQs which I feel are amazing. Now, now, I can hear you scream from the top of your lungs. How can you solve 500 MCQs in a day? Trust me, I felt the same when I heard it from my senior. One of my seniors who got a rank of 130 in NEET had advised me to do the same. I was shocked. It was humanely impossible. But slowly and steadily, I kept solving MCQs again and again until it felt like a reflex in my brain and finally reached that goal of 500 MCQs a day. And that changed the entire course of my prep. My GT scores jumped from 130 corrects to 150 corrects. And I realized the secret to consistency is momentum. Let's talk numbers because Neat PG is a game of math. Now, to get a great rank, you need aim for 155 to 160 corrects. And I'll tell you the math of how you're going to reach there. Mastering BTR and solving PYQs will give you 120 corrects. Doing BTR exam and discussion will help you eliminate two options for around 60 questions. So by probability, you should be getting around 30 corrects. The rest 20 questions are based on your luck. So that gives you around 5 to 10 corrects depending on your luck. This gives you around 155 to 160 corrects, which is around 575 to 600 marks. This will give you a rank between 3000 and 5000. That's my plan for you guys. If you are watching this, I want you to aim for 600 marks. Don't settle for average because you can do it. Trust the process, believe in the grind and keep reminding yourself. Every PYQ solved is one mark closer to your dream. If this video helped you, drop a like and share it with your study buddy.